All right. Uh, good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com, here with the Earthquake Channel. It is 10 p.m. in the evening on Wednesday, December 2nd, here in California. And we've got a couple of significant events in our warning areas. Um, first of all, I don't know if you remember from uh, the video from yesterday and the day before, but we were talking about an 80% risk of east of San Diego or uh, Santiago, Chile, Santiago, Chile, and a 5.2 earthquake just hit uh, east of Santiago, as we had forecasted. Also, we were concerned because the risk was still at 85% near Ridgecrest, and that risk extended down to the northwest of Los Angeles, that there would be something yet in that area, and there was another significant quake. Uh, this time, um, it was a 5.0 and now just downgraded to a 4.9 earthquake up in East Central California near Mina, Nevada. So both of those verified, and um, we have finished the, if you want to look online at quickprediction.com, we've finished the maps for uh, California, Alaska, Chile, Italy, Japan, Philippines, Greece, and Central America, and we'll be working on the others uh, here soon, but we've updated those for the next 48 hours. Let's take a quick look at the ones that we've finished so far. Um, Anchorage is still a very high risk, and that warning continues for west of Anchorage for a 6.0 to 7.0 earthquake, and that should hit within the next uh, 6 to 12 hours west of Anchorage. That is a, a strong earthquake, 6 to 7.0 to 7.0. And then in uh, California... Let's look at California again real quick. I'm looking over at quickprediction.com here. Uh, the risk remains significantly high tomorrow uh, on the December, uh, let's see, it, it, it falls from 75 to like 55% by tomorrow, it looks like. So the risk is going to fall off significantly tomorrow in California. We might get a few more uh, quakes uh, tonight from northwest of Los Angeles up to Ridgecrest and uh, Mena, Nevada. But otherwise, the risk uh, falls off. The risk increases to 70% on, on December 4th uh, in, in the Ridgecrest area coming up on December 4th. And Alaska, of course, is that warning for 6.0 to 7.0 in that area. And uh, now let's go look at uh, the Chile earthquake forecast. And we've updated that one. Now, the next uh, significant event should come uh, to the southwest of Santiago, and we were talk talking about that in a previous forecast as well. Uh, southwest of Santiago, there's a 85% risk. It looks like a 5.0 to 5.5 maybe. Southwest of Santiago on uh, December 3rd into December 4th. So watch for that, and we'll look at our Italy forecast. Uh, risk uh, continues near Sicily and Catania uh, from today into the 3rd of December. And then on December 3rd into the 4th of December, there's a significant risk of 80%, and you'll see this at the map. It's good to look at the map in uh, east-central part of uh, Italy, and that should produce a 4.0 to 5.0 earthquake in east central Italy. Please look at the maps to get a better idea of exactly where these quakes are going to occur. And uh, in Japan, our risk is uh, near Sendai at 70% during the next uh, 12, to, uh, 12 to 48 hours, and that continues into December 3rd. Uh, however, down south of Kumamoto and Miyazaki, uh, there's a very strong risk of 80 to 85 percent. So it looks like we'll get between a 5.0 and uh, maybe even a 6.0, 5.0 to 5.5 at least. Far southern Japan, I guess they call it western Japan, uh, but far southern Japan uh, on December 3rd. That's coming up very soon for them because they're like 14 hours 12 to 14 hours ahead of us. And 
Then again in Japan on December 4th, way off southeast of, of uh, the, the island or the uh, country of Japan, there's a 90% risk. All right, let's look at the uh, Philippines. Philippines earthquake risk. Um, there's a 70% risk of a, maybe a 3.0 to 4.5 maybe northwest of Manila during the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. And then uh, there's a very significant risk in the far southern portion of the Philippines on December 4th. And that should produce between a 5.0 and 5.5 in uh, the southern Philippines on December 4th. And we'll go over to Greece, Athens, Greece, and the other cities there. And during the next 12 to 24 hours, something in the southern and southeast portion of Greece, uh, east of Crete, and that should be 4.0 to 5.0 in that area. And then, uh, oh, a brief note, on our Athens, Greece forecast page, if you can click on that over quakeprediction.com, you'll see at the very bottom there's a forecast for the country of Spain. Now, this is very interesting because I saw this uh, in, when I was doing data for, for other cities that something was going to hit southern Spain. And I'm sure, of course, uh, the, there was a 3.9, I believe, that hit southern Spain. But there's another uh, higher risk coming up on December 4th for southern Spain. So you'll see that map over on the Athens Greece forecast at the very bottom and it shows 90% for the very south, southern portions of uh, Spain on December 4th and that could produce a 4.0 to 5.0 and possibly larger so please warn friends in southern Spain of that that's interesting and we'll do one more uh, Central America remember you can check all these maps out at quakeprediction.com and we will finish the rest of them uh, later tonight and let's look at uh, Central America. And right now, there's a 65% uh, risk in the southwest or western portion of Nicaragua. And then on uh, the 3rd of December, a 65% risk in the southwest uh, Guatemala. And then on the 3rd into the 4th, a 70% risk, so significant risk in western Guatemala and eastern El Salvador. And then on the 4th of December, we have a 70 to 75% risk. So it looks like a bit about between a 4.0 and 5.0 earthquake in southwest Guatemala and far, far southeast uh, Mexico on December 4th. It's very exciting. Uh, they call earthquake prediction uh, the holy grail of seismology. However, uh, here at QuakePrediction.com, since our latest uh, forecast model on November 27th it is no longer a uh, holy grail anymore. It is uh, like everything else. Uh, we learned how to uh, fly in airplanes, and we learned how to go to the moon. Well, now, finally, here at QuakePrediction.com, we have discovered how to forecast earthquakes after 15-plus years of research and we're very excited. And please stay tuned. We'll keep you uh, informed of any earthquake to hit your area in the future. And any strong earthquake, we will let you know here first at quakeprediction.com. Thank you so much. Please let your friends know about us. And uh, subscribe to our videos and support us here at quakeprediction.com. Thank you, thank you, and thank you.